Driving to Ochinyungwa takes up to 10 hours or more due to the rough, rocky and bumpy road. The recent visit by the NBC News team to the area was an experience of what it takes and happens to many motorists driving on this road. There is clearly a lack of services at the village from shopping malls, clean drinking water, communication network and more schools are needed to mention but a few. Because of a lack of accommodation facilities, the only establishment in the area charges up to $10,000 a night, we were told. Visitors, therefore, usually take their camping gear to rest camps, while the only source of water here is the Kunene River. If we can improve the road conditions, even people can come here and set up camping sites, lodges, and rest camps because the current ones seems not to fit uh, the pocket of a Namibian. They are more international based. Villagers can however now access healthcare services following the construction of a clinic unlike in the past where they relied on an outreach program. Kunene Governor Mario Shea is now a happy man as his people will no longer have to travel long distances to access health services. Wow. The nearest clinic is at Onyuva, 95 kilometers away, or Opuo, which is 360 kilometers far. But at least now, really, His Excellency, uh, I'm one of the most happiest Namibians because this area is very far, very remote, in a very, very difficult area to come and walk in. The containerized clinic was made possible by August 26, Nam Power, Wildness Safari, Children in the Wildness, Benvenduk, PE, Nam Port, and GT. The head of state, Dr. Hage Genkop, who was at Ochinyungwa to officially open a primary health care clinic, says something needs to be done to at least clear the road leading to the village. I have seen your difficulties. I was told about the road which takes over 10 hours from the As a commander and chief, I have to tell the army to do something they have to clear up. I mean, about 10 hours. They have to clear up. 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 The primary health care will provide COVID-19 vaccination, immunizations, atenotal care, and all sorts of treatment. The community has called on the president to help facilitate an ambulance so that the clinic could have a reliable transport. There is no mobile phone network in the area and the clinic is provided with a satellite internet to be able to communicate with the district hospital or head office. In the meantime, the community is served by one nurse on a temporary basis while the ministry is awaiting to make a permanent appointment. Next in the pipeline will be a South Police Station. Donatania in Body NBC News, Ochinungwa Village.